Hi and welcome to Accor Germany to a new review. Today I have for you this 27 year old O. This 27 year old cognac for you from the house T4. And I would say let's start and enjoy the video. The cognac house T4 which is also called the Reference House, is located in Scharnack. And the town Scharnack is only a few minutes away from Cognac and it lies beautiful directly at the River Charente. So the Cognac House T4 was founded in 1875 by Mederic T4. And nowadays the Cognac House T4 is owned by the family Brastat but the family are descendants from Mederic T4, so it's in the hands of the family since 1875. Next to the reference house, the family Rastat owns the Chateau Triac, and they also have cognacs under the name Rastat available. They have the standard range, but also vintages available. And the family has about 40 hectares of vineyards and they are located in Farbois and the Grand Champagne. So let's come now to the review and tasting of our today's cognac. First I would like to show you a little bit the bottle and the design of it. It's another bottle from the independent bottler Malternative Belgium. It was distilled in 1995, bottled in 2023. So we have here 27 years of cask maturation. Originally it should have 50.4% alcohol by volume, but they made a more detailed investigation and the result was the 40.86% of alcohol by volume. The content are 70 centiliters. There are 480 bottles available, all made from 100% Uni Blanc. There is no use of additives. This is the number 28 of the alternative bottlings. And on the label you can see an owl, which watches over the vineyards from the Chateau Triac. So this is the reason why they choose the title Le Vigilion, which means the watchman. So I would say, let's start with the tasting. Color first. The color of the cognac is, for me, it's um, a red gold. Maybe something a little bit like turmeric or a curry. First thing which you notice is this fruitiness. I have um, peaches, I have this gummy beers, but the brighter gummy beers, the yellow orange one. In the background, a little freshness, but very little influence here in the nose. And I also have these floral notes already, the typical floral notes from the Grand Champagne Cognac. But the fruitiness is more present than the floral notes in the nose. Yeah, so I would say let's try. Santé. I made a first video in German and now on the second sip I have a little bit more spiciness than on the first sip but still the fruitiness is so present and also the floral notes on the palate so it's a little battle between the floral notes and the fruitiness but fruitiness is still a little bit uh, more present and yes, again, these peaches, apricot, mirabelle on the palate, maybe some milk chocolate and also again a little freshness. 
on the finish. Finish is very gentle. It's still fruity and floral. So when I taste the cognac, I'm not used to this in the finish, but you have it here, definitely. And also maybe some licorice, but the licorice is more in the background. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, so very good and solid cognac. Personal for me, I would like to see a little bit more the woody notes, the spices from the wood. The wood influence is not that high if you have like a 50 year old cognac, for example. But anyway, very good cognac. Um, exciting to see the fruitiness and the floral notes in the finish. As I just mentioned, I didn't uh, got them so far when I tried the cognac. So that was a new experience for me. And yeah, point wise, I would say 85 points. Yes. So what about you? Did you already try the cognac from Tifon? Maybe this one? What was your experience? If you like, leave a comment. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching the video. And I hope we will see us in the next video again. Have a good time.